and mommy got caffeine. <laughs> and caffeine for both of us. I'm trying to get a Starbucks drink. I'm excited. What did you end up getting? The matcha. Ooh. Yeah, I got um, coffee and um, egg bites. So, this is the pile of stuffed animals that is coming with us to City of Hope because this girl needs stuffies. Needs lots and lots of stuffies. Okay, here it is. The final tour of the crazy ass car. Okay, so here's the front seat. So, leash, water bottle, Grogu, bag full of things, treat bag, masks, side and then we go over here dylan leave it <laughs> where my dog's trying to get the balls dylan's bed toys chuck it other things and then the back two suitcases one art case thing 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 ah! we did it we did it we did it so yeah Hope you enjoy hope you enjoyed this segment of the movie. Um yeah. So this is the car packed and ready to go for LA. Now I'm going to go hang out in my room for a bit until the human who is staying with my brother is here. And then we are gonna head out. My <laughs> if you can't tell by the bags under my eyes, being off the pavements have been rough. Like so I can stay on the pharmaceutical pain meds, but the pharmaceuticals are only half of my pain management regimen. So yeah, and I can't be on the vitamins, which is always super fun. Starbucks drink, I'm excited. What did you end up getting? The matcha. Ooh. Yeah, I got um, coffee and um, egg bites. Mm. Yeah, so we're doing good. My head is not a friendly member of society currently. That's Dylan in the back. Dylan is sighing at us because we interrupted her nap by stopping the car. We love you, Dylan. Love, love. So yeah, we, it's drive day. So nothing really important is happening today. The more important stuff kind of starts tomorrow. Tomorrow we have... Uh, I have my COVID test. Clean which, your nostrils. Yeah, which cross my fingers. Mhm. Mm That's in the morning, and then we wait. Hear the good news. Yeah, we don't get the time for your surgery until tomorrow afternoon after four. Yeah, and then the next day is surgery day. Now it's recording. Should I start when you getting? Just it? what is that letter? What is it's, it? It's an admissions letter. It's an admissions to where? CCA, California College of Arts. And what does it say? I got it. <laughs> and this was your what on the list? This was one. This was my dream college. <laughs> you just got into your dream college. Yeah. Forward to number two and, and yeah, behind this car right here. Okay, thank you. Cleo Nelson? Are you doing it for? Uh, 318 or 3. Have you done this before? No, quiet. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Just in case you call for Steve, I am going to go play with your nose. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pull down your mask until you head back to me. I'll start with your left side, okay? Mm -hmm. Does it still feel like salt water, Cleo? <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No worries. No, it's not it's you. It's not your fault at all. Can I play for the other side? Yeah, mom. Well, Damn. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Stan. <laughs> Tilt back. 
nothing but snot. <laughs> the resulting for five to six hours, only with the positive, you'll get a call. Okay. You'll be posting all mine under the patient. Hello, it's the morning of the surgery. Um, there's mom and there's the puppy in the back. Um, so it's the morning of the surgery. We're here. I'm doing okay, a little nervous. It's kind of kicking in now, but I've been able to like do stuff all morning. So that's kind of helpful. It's five o'clock in the morning. I don't know if that qualifies. 5.30. 5.30. Hey y'all, kind of space that I was supposed to check in with you for Cleo. So, pre-op went really smooth, uh, totally on time. She got checked in and all of the nursing staff and anesthesiologists were fantastic. Um, they wheeled her back on time, so her surgery began on time. Um, and that was perfect, I think, for Dylan too, because she really needed to use the potty. So, once Cleo went back into surgery, then uh, Dylan and I went on a quest for a little walk and a potty break for her and finding me some breakfast. Um, so now she's been in surgery for about two, almost two and a half hours. So we're coming into the final stretch and we're just sitting here in the waiting room, uh, waiting to get the call that everything has gone fine, that she is in post-op and then shortly after that, we'll be able to go see her, so. You're awesome. <laughs> so yeah, post off, uh, you can see the giant scar from the surgery. Things little went a little shenanigans. Um, I'll explain that more in a bit. Um, yeah, so I'm staying overnight. I'm okay, feeling good. My voice is a little sore, my throat's a little sore. That's really all that's a little sore. All right. Latest update. Um, all of the hospital beds are full. Um, they try to predict that as best they can, but you know, that's not a perfect science. And so not all of the discharges they anticipated um, occurred today um, or occurring slower. And in the post-op uh, recovery area, um, it is against CDC regulations for a service dog to be back there. So apparently it was a happy moment. So Dylan can, so mom and Dylan are waiting out in the lobby, like super troopers. They're amazing and I love them both. Um, so I've been hanging out. I, for weird reasons, I got stuck in post-op for like three and a half, four hours, which was interesting. So I didn't really get any videos because I didn't have my phone for like three and a half of those hours. Um, so that was a little weird. But yeah, so here's my here's my scar. I think I showed you that. But yeah, I'm okay. My nurses here are really awesome. When the name is Angela, like my mom, which is cool. And. chain smoker which I'm told should go away soon it's a little rough sounding like a chain smoker um Dylan's doing a lot better 
Uh, so I got more info on this yesterday. I don't know if I added that, but a nurse screwed up and broke ADA laws. And so I had to write um, a formal complaint and one of the nurse, the nurse practitioner for my surgeon who did the surgery is writing an internal complaint. And Hi, so this is me three, four months post-surgery. Here's a scar update. I am home healthy as you can see. So I decided to hop on and explain a little bit of what happened. So as I said in the last video you saw of me, a nurse screwed up and broke ADA law and I was separated from my service dog and my mom for 30, 36 to 42 hours when the max amount of time recommended to be separated from your service dog is four. The repercussions of this is huge. Not only did, could it have completely um, broken Dylan's faith in working for me, it also which it didn't, we were really lucky and Dylan is still an amazing dog when she's on duty. But what happened shouldn't ever happen to anyone. I was having panic attacks all night long on my own because the staff were not trained to handle, handle medical PTSD. And I was told by a nurse to just calm down in the middle of a panic attack when she was taking me to see my mom. Because of her ignorance on the subject, she severely damaged Dylan's confidence and my confidence and caused much more trauma than the surgery actually should have inflicted on me. I've My first surgery I had when I was six, I've had surgeries, I know what they do to you, and this one was more traumatic than it had to be. I love City of Hope, but this should never happen to anybody else.